Entering yearling data for your herd on the American Gelby Association Registry Service is easy to do by following a few simple steps and is a process that is similar to entering weaning data. To access the member login on the Registry Service, click on the AGA Registry Service Login button located at www.gelvy.org. Do not click the login and register links on the home page. Those links are for the exchange listings. To access the AGA Registry Service member login, you must click on the AGA Registry Service login. You are now on the American Galvey Association Registry Service. Enter your username and password in the member login located in the upper left-hand side of the Registry Service screen. If you have forgotten this information, please call the AGA office at 303-465-2333 or email registration at galvey.org. The first step to enter yearling information is to put the animals in the yearling work queue. First, check if you have any animals already in the yearling work queue. You may have added animals into the yearling work queue after you entered weaning data. If there is no work in the yearling queue, you will need to add animals to the yearling work queue. To add animals to the work queue, go back to home base, which is the general profile information screen. To get to this screen, use the work menu on the left side of the screen. Click on view under my account and then click on the Herd tab once you are back to the General Profile Information screen. There are a series of boxes running across the middle of the screen. Identify the Bulls yearling box and Females yearling box. Clicking on either of those boxes will bring up a list of Bulls or Females in your inventory that are between 250 and 720 days of age and have no breeding record entered into the Herd book. Identify the year column in the list. Click on the year box next to the animal you wish to enter yearling data for. That animal is now in the yearling work queue. Do this for all the bulls you want to enter yearling data for and then all the females you want to enter yearling data for. Now go to the yearling work queue. The yearling queue shows there is work waiting to be processed. In the row, you see the member ID, member name, total number of animals in the work queue, the work order number, and the date. Click on the green row to open that work order. This brings up a screen with all the animals in the yearling queue. Across the top of the data entry screen is all the categories of data that can be entered. If you click on a header, it will bring up a dialog box with a description of what needs to be entered into that column. Moving from left to right on this screen, you see the animal's registration number, name, prefix tattoo, and sex. Enter a yearling date for the first animal. You can click on the icon next to the date field to bring up a calendar. Then select the date and hit tab. The same yearling date will fill down for all the other animals in the work queue. If you need to enter a different yearling date for an animal in the work queue, you can do so by selecting the desired date for that particular animal. Doing so will not change the yearling dates for the other animals in the queue. Tab across to the weight field and enter the yearling weight. If you have collected additional data on the animal, tab across and enter the information for yearling temperament, yearling hip height, scrotal, pelvic width, pelvic height, management, yearling feed code. Here you can also enter in disposal information for animals not retained or sold as breeding stock. If you realize you have an animal in your work queue that you do not have data for, you can delete that animal from the work queue by clicking on the red X at the rightmost column of the screen. 
That animal is then removed and yearling data can be entered at a later time. Once you have entered all data, click the Validate button below the last animal data line. You must click Validate before leaving the screen, otherwise all data you entered will be lost. The validation process checks the data you entered for any errors. If you do not have any errors that show up, click the Commit button. This commits the data to the registry. This is a two-step process. First, validate the data to check for errors, then commit the data to the registry. If there are any errors, an error descriptor will be displayed on the left side of the screen in the row where there is an error. This error descriptor represents the type of error that is explained at the bottom of the screen. The field that contains the error will also be highlighted in either yellow or red. If the box is highlighted in yellow, this means that it is an advisory error and may be out of the normal range, but can still be committed to the registry. If the error is highlighted red, this means the error is critical and cannot be committed to the registry service at this time. For example, if you enter a yearling hip height of 35 and click validate, it will highlight the height in yellow and show an error descriptor on the left side of the screen to see error 6C. If you see the error descriptors below, 6C reads hip height. Valid measurements are between 40 and 55. If this is the true hip height, it may still be committed to the registry because it is only an advisory error due to the data entered being out of the normal range. If this is an entry error, you may re-enter the correct data. If you put a yearling weight of 2,225 pounds, and click Revalidate. The box will be highlighted in red and the error descriptor will show on the left side to see 5C below which reads weight. Valid measurements are between 30 pounds above the animal's weaning weight and 2,200 pounds. Also note this error is critical out of range and prevents records from being committed to the registry. If this is an entry error you may re-enter the correct data. Once you have corrected as many errors as possible, then click Revalidate again. Then click the Commit button. Any animal that still has an error will remain in the kickout queue to be fixed at a later time. The kickouts can be found on the General Profile Information screen by clicking on View under My Account and then clicking the Kickouts tab. By clicking on the work order, this will bring up the animals with errors. Contact the AGA Registration Department for assistance in correcting remaining errors. Once you committed the yearling data with no errors, the yearling date that was submitted will show up in the year column under the yearling section of the herd tab. Thank you for watching this AGA registry service tutorial on entering yearling data. For more tutorials, visit the registry service tutorials page under the education center tab at gelvie.org.